Now they're assembling a hammer. You're watching Bernadette the robot in action, using its special suction grip to simulate the assembly of a fast food meal. The idea was that we would make four burgers at the same time. Sheyu Vankerquike and Benedict Howard are two of Bernadette's creators, both second-year engineering students at UBC. I have been known as a kid to read an engineering encyclopedia even. <laughs> Two, one, go! And that may be the kind of background you need to win here. UBC's annual robot competition. It's actually a final exam where teams work for about six weeks to build autonomous robots basically from scratch. This year, the contest was to assemble mock meals out of plastic fast food ingredients. In the two-minute race, you saw all manner of sweepers, grabbers, and suckers try to manipulate and plate the meal. All right. Second burger. You can bet the Hamburglar is watching this one. Students learn best when they're having fun and they're engaged. Professor Andre Marziali is the director of engineering physics and says don't be fooled by the fast food theme. These young engineers are working with the same stuff you'd find in any Tesla or industrial robot. Anything electromechanical these days has sensors, motors, and processors, and that's what the students are learning. After winning their first heat, Bernadette had some glitches. The power supply went wonky, and that suction device underperformed. The champion Burgermeisters ended up being Team 2, but Bernadette's creators were anything but sore losers. I'm still just happy about how much we all learned from it. <laughs> now, if you're wondering whether all this will hurt your teenaged kids' job prospects, probably not worth worrying about this summer. At UBC, Paul Johnson, Global News.